Today we will show you how to do LTE RF measurements by using the CMW500 wideband radio communication tester from Rode and Schwartz and a real LTE UE prototype which you can see on the right hand side mounted into that gray box. This is a call box kind of functionality like all of you know it from a CMU200. So this is the signaling overview screen. You can see here different settings like band channels, etc. We will go into the configuration a little later. I can switch on the cell now. Please pay attention to this field. You will see that the cell will be switched on in a second. Now the cell is on and we will register the phone. You see the attach procedure. Now the phone is attached and now in the bottom you see the connect button. If I press this, we go into the connection. Now we already have the connection established. What configuration possibilities do we have in signaling? If I press that configuration button, a pop-up window comes up and you see you can select FDD or TDD. You can select different bands. All bands are supported. You can select different channel settings. You can select bandwidth settings, cyclic prefix, normal or extended. And from the connection point of view, you can select in the RMC settings different parameters for channel bandwidth, etc., for uplink and downlink separately. We are in the connection already, so let's go into the measurement. I can switch to the multi-evaluation measurement and also switch that measurement on. What you see is an overview of all different measurements taken at the same time. We call that multi-evaluation measurement. And what it does is that it takes a sample of the uplink signal and analyzes it in all different ways at the same time. So it's very fast and all the measurement results are correlated to each other because they are taken from the same sample of the signal. In that overview screen, you see different modulation measurements, different spectrum measurements, different power measurements, all at the same time. But if you like, you can also say certain measurements I don't want to see or I want to change to a certain specific measurement. You can either do this here, and now we are in the constellation diagram, for example. We can also go back to the entire overview or we can simply use the spin wheel and select a measurement we are interested in, say the EVM versus subcarrier, and look into it from this point of view. What you can also do is select which measurements you really want to see in case you are not interested in all of the measurements, so you can also select and deselect certain measurements. That is for the transmitter side. Now, if we look into the receiver testing side, we can change here to the block error rate measurement. And the block error rate measurement is based on counting acknowledgements and non-acknowledgements coming from the phone. So you can see we have a very good connection. We have about 0.1% non-acknowledgements resulting in 0.1% block error rate. And then throughput based on the scheduling that we set up, of about 11 megabits per second in the downlink.